what's up you guys it's your girl tamar gi and we are back with another lit hair tutorial i haven't did a tutorial like this in so long which is why i'm so excited to show you guys but before we jump into it i'm just gonna show you guys what hair i use so you guys can already know because i know that's the biggest biggest question i get on all my videos sometimes i have it at the end sometimes i have it at the beginning either way i go y'all still ask so i'm just gonna show you guys this is the hair that i use the free Tress braid pre-fluffed um hair it's perfect for the twist locks and crochet this hair is $9.99 a pack and you only need two packs so this is the hair I used but let's just go ahead and get straight into this install and I love you guys so first we're gonna start with the parting now I wanted to do the front first and then try to tackle the back because this is something I never did before and I know when I get to the front I always make sure everything's precise in the front so what I did was I wanted to make sure that middle part was good and I used that locking gel to make sure that my parts were really crisp and I just parted out two sections in the front first so then it could give me a base to where like I can make my parts really straight on both sides and then the middle both sides will be corresponding and then the line will be like really really straight in the middle just in case I wanted to wear it in a middle part. And y'all, if you guys been rocking with me, like, look how much my hair has grew since that butterfly locks video compared to this video. Like, my hair grew so much. And you guys, for parting, that gel really helps. Like, it really works. I see why the professional braiders do this because it really helps get your parts, like, very crispy. So now I'm just sectioning off my baby hairs. I didn't plan on leaving out a lot, which is why I was taking out a little bit and I put it a rubber band on to separate it. Now I came up with like a pattern that I wanted to do for both sides so both sides can be corresponding. So for the first part, it's just going to be one lock that we're doing. And then for the second one, it's gonna be two, then three, then four, like y'all gonna see when we get to the top. But what you want to do is part your hair and you don't want to make the part too small unless you want to do really small ones but i feel like this was like a good size for me so it's kind of like a rectangle a little bit and then you just separate it in the middle and then so we're going to start twisting both sides now when i first started i was twisting it the opposite way because y'all like it was one o'clock in the morning i was like ooh, like i think i know what i'm doing so i'm just gonna do it but i would highly suggest that you twist on both sides because i did end up redoing a couple in the front and twisting it both in the same direction but this part is really easy you just want to make sure you get you some gel or something that's going to hold your hair and you just twist it to me this concept gives me 
like locks for real like because after I was done I went ahead and clipped it like you would do with locks just to hold it in place but after you have twisted both sides this is when your hair is going to come into place but I just want to make sure everything look very very tight and everything because this was my first one so I was like I have to get this right like I hope this isn't hard <laughs> so what you want to do is take your first strand and in the packs the strands are you going to tell like what strand is you look at the ends and the strands are going to be separated but you separate the strand in half i didn't show you guys doing that but i separated it and so with that first half that i'm using i'm twisting the hair in the direction that i twisted my real hair in and i'm gonna twist the other side the same direction and then beginning twisting both of those together and then as I'm twisting both of them together, once I get to a certain point, I'm gonna add in that second strand of hair. And so you guys see, I twisted both of them together really tightly. You wanna make sure it's very tight. And then so now I am proceeding to twist. And when I twist, I don't know if you guys can see my like wrist a little bit, like I'm kind of raveling the twist as I'm twisting so that it can give off that look and then i'm adding that piece of hair on just feeding it in and continuing on the twist and after that is pretty much it like you just do this repeat this step but i am gonna show you this in real time a couple more times just so y'all could get it because i really had to grasp this this is my first one but i was still kind of struggling like and i ended up adding another strand like feeding in another strand because i felt like that was going to be too short especially for that being the one on the end i didn't want it to be too small so if you have to end up feeding in some more hair there's nothing wrong with that because i mean you're doing your hair so you're in control of what's going on it's no wrong or right way to do it unless you're just blatantly doing it wrong <laughs> but um add as much hair as you want you can do it as thick or as small as you want it it's just depending on your preference Now that the twist is done, we're going to go ahead and do this barrel. Now, I ended up having to cut it a little bit because, like I said, I feeded in three on this one. And I, th this is the only one that I did three feed-ins for. But when you're doing the barrel, you're just flipping it upward and twisting it around towards the bottom. And once you start twisting, one tip that I would say is don't think that that barrel has to be perfect. Like, I had to add in some more hair because I ended up cutting it. But you see how I'm just adding a little bit more hair and I'm just twisting it around. Like, just keep, keep twisting. Like, keep twisting, keep twisting until you feel like it's tight. And then add a rubber band to it and you're good. Don't overthink the barrel. Don't try to make it look too perfect because that's not the point. Like, it's just supposed to look like a barrel at the end. So now we're starting the second section. And like I said before, the first section that we did was one. This one is going to be two and the next one is going to be three. And I think I did four or five for the last one in the middle. But all together, I had four rows on each side. So I have four rows and on my right and then four rows on my left. And so both of them are corresponding. And like I said before, just go ahead and take your baby hairs out before you start and go ahead and repeat the process. And you guys are going to see how I start getting the hang of it a little bit because I feel like it took, like y'all, it took me so long to just do one side because I was just trying to be so meticulous and trying to make sure I was getting everything right. Like I literally feel like I wasted 56 minutes on just a couple ones on one side. I looked at my camera and it said 56 minutes and I was like, dang, like I'm not even on the other side yet. <laughs> but I was just trying to make sure that everything looked really, really good. So don't be afraid to take your time but don't take all day like i did <laughs> Thank you. 
and then I'm showing you guys this barrel again you can see I twisted it upwards and I'm just proceeding to twist it around at the top and go all the way down I know most people suggest that you don't end it at the bottom but what I do at the bottom ensures that it's not gonna rival because none of my barrels have rivaled at all I just make sure I tie it really tight keep keep tying keep tying because this is like ratty type hair so like if you just keep keep tying it around it's going to lock and then you add your rubber band and that's way more security so at this point we're like a couple locks in and i ended up switching my gel to that extreme edge gel because that was a little bit more firm to me and i feel like i would highly recommend starting with freshly washed hair my hair was not freshly washed <laughs> because um, I had just took it out some braids and I had oil in my hair previously so I would recommend just doing freshly, freshly washed hair because I feel like that played a part in how the gel reacted to my hair. So yeah, that's just a tip.
and also in between i did add some pump it up spritz just spray just a little bit on there just so i can ensure that the top hold and it looks really really good and then we're starting on this next side i didn't really show too much on this next shot but i just wanted to show y'all the twisting part to show y'all like the directions and stuff that it's going in So at this point, I finally done with the front. The front looks really, really good. Now, let me tell y'all, the back was such a struggle for me, y'all. Like, the back was such a struggle. And I tried the crochet method on the back, and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. But I feel like I did my big one on the front. Like, I give so much kudos to myself for the front because the front is popping. The back... I had to call myself on FaceTime with my phone and look at it on my iPad. But, like, I was doing good at first. And then I feel like in between, it just went downhill because my scalp is just so loose. Like, I have a loose scalp. And it was just getting on my nerves, y'all. Like, it was so hectic. But I went ahead and showed y'all a little bit of me parting the back a little bit on my iPad. Because, like, I was struggling. And it was, at this point, it was getting later and later and later and I was getting tired and I was just trying to get done but I just really did the same thing but it was kind of hard doing it on the back of my head so I would highly suggest the crochet method for the back of your head I should have just did the crochet method but my thing was I didn't want to have to take out those little small braids each time and y'all gonna see what I'm talking about with the crochet method and taking out the small braids And as y'all can see, that little part in the back that I did, it didn't look too bad. But this is the next day, y'all. And my hair just in the back, like, it just looks like a disaster. But I still tried to make it look kind of neat. It still looked really cute when I got done. But this is me showing y'all the crochet method. So basically, with the crochet method, you just part a little part off of the two halves that you have. And you create two braids on both sides and then you just twist those together and just begin twisting i would highly recommend doing this because i feel like this is just a more simpler way but i just didn't want to have to take out those small braids when it was time for me to take out my hair especially in the back of my head so that's why i really shied away from really doing this but i really feel like i should have though
so at this point i'm done with my hair and i'm about to do my baby hair so i'm just brushing out everything and y'all know sometimes i take out a lot of baby hairs but i didn't take out a lot this time and i actually end up cutting them a little bit so they can be a little bit more shorter than what they were and i'm just taking my pencil straightener and i'm just straightening my edges and i'm about to lay them down And then in between me doing my edges, I just use a little bit of the edge booster and then I go back in with some pump up spritz on my finger and blow dry it out just so it can stay. But um, I would highly recommend um, just using like a spritz after you straighten your hair so that the gel won't make it look not fluffy. Cause right here it looks very, very fluffy and I feel like I should have kept it like that. But yeah, we are done with the baby hairs and everything. And this is what everything is looking like. I feel like it still came out so, so cute. Everything looks really, really cute. And I was very satisfied with this hairstyle. Okay, you guys. So this is what everything is looking like. I have it in the side part. This hairstyle is so cute, y'all, but I don't know why it took me so long to do. The way it took me so long to do this is just crazy, y'all. I started at one o'clock, right? I stopped at five and I wasn't even all the way done. And then I didn't get done till like eight o'clock the next day. Cause I was rushing out. I had to go to sleep and I didn't like, it was bad, but it came out so cute. I love it and then when I flip it to the middle it is so cute the only thing that I can say that I didn't really like is that my parts didn't look as crispy crispy as they was when I first did them because my hair like settled and then I was supposed to sit under the dryer but I was so tired so I didn't sit under the dryer and that's why it's not as crispy as it was but I still feel like it came out really cute though I don't know if I would do this style again I would really have to contemplate if I really want to sit here and try to struggle again like this hairstyle was really cute but I feel like I would probably I don't know I really don't know the hairstyle is really really cute but I don't, I took way too long. Like I took longer than it needed to be. I don't know, I think if I do it again, then I'll probably start early in the morning and not start late at night because I feel like that probably played a part in it too. Me starting so late is probably what happened. So I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. Um, I hope this video was of some help and you guys learned how to do this hairstyle correctly. If you guys have any questions, make sure you comment down below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And make sure you guys hit that post notification bell so you can see what I post. And yeah, go ahead and subscribe because we're on the road to 200K. I love you guys. Stay blessed. GI Babies, we out.